Hey, welcome to my Excel site here. Sorry if there's a little bit of echo here. I'm getting a bit of echo and feedback on my mic, so I'm just adjusting a little. Um, hopefully, uh, you're you're hearing me okay. Okay, VLOOKUP. What is it? Um, essentially, what VLOOKUP will, VLOOKUP will do is let you select a value, look that value up from within another table, and returning a value from one of the columns within that table. Columns could be, you could have a table with 50 columns, you could have a table with two columns. Um, important to note, the VLOOKUP value will always be in the leftmost column of your table. And for the purposes of the VLOOKUP, you get asked to pick a column number to return a value from. So if we wanted to do the arrival time of this train here, um, we were looking at blue coast, we wouldn't be returning column 1, we'd be returning column 2 um, for the departure, column 3, and for the fare, column 4. I'll show you two versions, one that will demonstrate the different types of the last argument in VLOOKUP requires you to look up for an exact match or an approximate match. Um, they have different criteria. If you're looking up an approximate match and you're looking up numbers, well you can only look up numbers in an approximate match you, or, or dates or something. You, you can't look up text in an approximate. That always has to be exact. It has to be sorted. Your, your numbers have to be sorted ascending order smallest at the top, largest at the bottom, but we'll look at that one in a minute, in a minute or two. So, do one example of this, and then th which will work in column 2 here, but if we want to drag along to column 3 and column 4, um, we would have to do a bit of adjustment, and I'll show you a, a little workaround for that. So, equals VLOOKUP, tab, our lookup value our lookup value is here. I'll just show you in this cell here. I've created a data validation list. Um, if I just select the drop down, you see I can select different items. So our lookup value, I could type a value in within quotes um, or select a value from a cell, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to select this value here, comma. I've named this table timetable. So if I press F3, timetable, and that timetable covers this whole table, from column 1 through to column 4, comma, column index, well, as I've just said, we're looking up, if I, oh, I'll put in column 1 just to show you what it brings back. And true and false are essentially 1 and 0. 1 is true and true will give you an approximate match which is no good for text so we need false but if you you can use zero which is the same as false and press enter now because i selected column one if you look at timetable from here it's a four column table i selected column one that's why it brought that back so we would change that to column two now if we were wanting to Increment this formula. As I say, your table could be 50 table, 50 columns long. You want to write the formula once and drag. Um, if we were to drag that right now, there's two errors would, would appear. The first one would be because I haven't locked the cell reference, and the second one would be it would only be bringing back column two, regardless how far along I I take that. I would have to change the column number manually each time. A workaround to that is use a function that will increment. So when you're in here, you're in column two. When you're here, you're in column three. When you're in here, and it, as you drag it along, it will increment. So fix the first one. Put a lock on the column. The dollar sign in front of the column reference will lock. When I drag to the right, it will always stay locked on this cell. 
and to get over the column incrementing issue we're going to use the columns function columns tab um, G19 is where we are the columns need a start in reference and an end in reference and it will so if I gave it if I move this to the side here if I gave it F11 to I11 it would work out there was one two three four columns there and that's what would return just the number four so we're in G19 so again it has to be locked on the first one so column sign G19 shift colon G19 close parenthesis this on its own will give me one highlight this and press F9 it will give me one so control and Z will undo that we want we're in column 2 of this 4 table column F4 uh, column table so we want column 2 so we will just add 100 plus 1 enter and when we get to here it has to be column 4 so when we pull this if you this here will bring column 4 this here provide column 4 so everything's right but for whatever reason it's, it's pulling 8 o'clock too much this should be 55 pounds it's pulling here So sometimes you lose formatting, and what it, that, that's actually what it's done. It's pulled the formatting for the time across, and the time doesn't understand 55 pound as a time. When we hit this format painter, and we format this back to money, you'll see it changes it back to the correct answer. So this column part of the problem, formula here, press F9, proved number 3, control Z. So that's a, a quick look at the VLOOKUP. If I change now the, well, let's say the red train, it provides the data in column 2, 3 and 4, um, and same with the straight line. Always test that, you know, don't rely on it because as you see with the formatting, there's always, always issues can't crop up. This VLOOKUP is slightly different. Um, uh, the last argument here was a zero, which meant you wanted an exact lookup. The last argument here is a one, which means it's an approximate lookup. And what this lookup does is it will look up this here is our lookup value. I've got a randomizing formula, so this number will change every time I hit enter, probably. Yep, it does. Um, boy, I'm going to change this to two, two five. Our view lookup will look up this value from this column, and it's always the left column. It will look up this value from these columns, and for an approximate match, it will race up the column, find the next highest number, and come back to the, the number below that and in this case it's bringing back item 2 so if we do a couple of F9s you'll see what I mean there's 222 so it raced up there to number 225 which is the next highest number comes back to the number below that and draws item 7 number 91 races up to 100 
comes back down to 75 and draws through item number 3. Lots of lookup functions. There is functions index and match um, and lookup function on its own that will let you look up an item on the right hand side of a table um, and the answer you want is on the left. We'll look at them later. I'll give you some more examples if you look up in future videos. Hope this has helped. XLYXL.